219. Senate Bill 219 by Senator Tate also representing Kraft Tharp concerning the rates by a motor vehicle of motor vehicle dealer charges a motor vehicle manufacturer for work performed by the dealer in accordance with the warranty obligation. Representative Kraft Tharp. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move Senate Bill 219 and the Business Committee Report. To the Committee Report. Uh, thank you. So in Business Committee, we clarified several definitions that were in um, the bill as it came over from the Senate. Specifically, we clarified uh, the word reasonable, substantially, um, substantially lower to make sure that everything was as clear as possible. Asking for, uh, oh, and then we had a second amendment to bring in the RVs and to, to apply the manufacturing um, agreements that we made around warranty reimbursement to the RVs. So I ask for your support. Thank you. Is there any further discussion on the Business Affairs Committee report? Seeing none, the question before us is the adoption of the Business Committee report. All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed, no. The committee report is adopted. To the bill, Representative Kraftler. Thank you. I move L031. L031 has Quest been. Request that it be displayed. Yes, has been moved and is displayed and is not fully displayed because it is a multi page amendment that has been placed on your desks pursuant to the rules and the request of the majority leader, Representative Kraftler. Thank you. So um, what this amendment does is it applies the agreements that were made in the bill, which I'll talk specifically about in just a moment, to power sports vehicles. And I ask for your support. Any further discussion on L031? Seeing none, the question before us is the adoption of L031 to the bill. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. The suppose no. L031 is adopted. To the bill, Representative Krathar. Thank you. So Senate Bill uh, 219 will provide a process for automobile dealers and automobile manufacturers to resolve disputes concerning the amount of compensation a dealer receives for repairing vehicles warranted by the automobile manufacturers. Forty-four other states have similar legislation, some of which are good, some of which, well, not quite so much. The purpose behind this legislation is to ensure that the cost and expense of performing warranty work is not shifted from the manufacturer which built the car and provided a pro product warranty to the dealer which repairs the car and performs the warranty work. The bill accomplishes this by providing a process to determine what the market establishes as the retail labor rate and retail parts markup percentage for similar non-warranty work. I would like to say I'd like to commend the auto manufacturers and the auto dealers who worked extremely hard at crafting the language in this bill. And to, just to be clear, the auto manufacturers did not want to have this bill put that aside, we're able to put together uh, agreements to be able to work in partnership, and I really want to say thank you to them um, and commend them for all their hard work. And members, I hope that you will do the same by supporting this bill. Representative Liston. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, uh, members, um, I too heard this bill, and um, I want to commend the sponsor because she really threaded the needle. Uh, I know she's not expecting this, because it was very difficult. I know she worked very hard to take the automobile manufacturers and the dealers who were at odds, uh, because quite frankly, the, the automobile uh, dealers, they want to uh, uh, have as much business as they can and shift the cost to the consumers and uh, the manufacturers and or shift it to the manufacturers. The manufacturers don't want to have to pay as much, which I don't blame them. And she was really able to get the parties together that were this far apart and bring them this close together. I know she worked very hard. And then to bring in the RV dealers and to her credit, to include the motorsports dealers. So um, I think she did a great job and I just wanted to commend the sponsor. Is there any further praise for the bill sponsor? Seeing none, is there any further discussion on Senate Bill 219? Seeing none of that either, the, the question before us is the adoption of Senate Bill 219. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Senate Bill 219 is resoundingly adopted. Mr. Randall.